All right, what's up, Amayan? And today I am going to show you how you can use Odin to flash Samsung stock firmware. This is gonna be so easy, so watch it and learn. First of all, we need to extract the image that we downloaded. You can watch my video on how to use Freer to download the Samsung stock firmware, and you will learn how to use that. We need to extract this for firmware file. This is gonna take some time, so let's be patient. Okay, well, I have skipped some time for you guys. Let's wait for it to finish the extraction. And here we go. Here we have the file completely extracted. Now let's go and download Odin. Okay, now there are two websites to download Odin. The first one is go to samsungodin.com. Link will be given in the description. Here you can see the download Odin links and you can press a link and the download will start soon as possible. You can open it up and run Odin right from here. You may need to extract it, but this software opens it up in no time. This is gonna give you some warning. Press OK. Here we have Odin running on my computer. Now let's get on to the next setup. I mean the next way to download Odin. So the next one is to go to sammobile.com just like that and slash firmwares need to enter the model number of your phone I recommend this because I think we can download the exact Odin software that we need for our device ok here I have entered the model number and this is gonna be POC I'm gonna press enter now because this website takes a lot of time to load I mean a lot of time ok this is, has reloaded now I need to put the model number again I don't know this is a bug but I think this issue needs to be fixed ok here I am putting my model number of my phone here we go and I'm gonna put the country code which is I am from Pakistan so it's gonna be Pak let's check for updates and uh, let's check the latest one and here you can see there is an option to download Odin press the download Odin option and the Odin will download very easily just wait for it to finish the downloading here we go let's open it up yeah I need to buy the subscription I don't think I ever will okay now we have Odin running this is giving us a long 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 warning but I think this is the recommended way so you can you should use this one it takes a lot of time but this is worth it okay now let's just get our phone So on your phone just unlock it go to your settings the first thing I recommend is that you should remove all of your accounts here I have all the accounts that I am signed on so I'm gonna remove all of them one by one Well, that was asking for my password, so I have to skip that part, you know, for security reasons. Now, we need to go to the developer options. You should know how to turn on them. And first of all, you need to go and turn on OEM unlocking and USB debugging. 
these two options should be unlocked so that is the way to do it OEM unlocking is not necessary unless you are doing something else okay why need now I need to connect the cable to my you know phone oh no this is so hard to do it on Y by one hand okay I have connected the cable let's plug the other end into your laptop or computer whichever one you are using okay now it is connected as you can see the device has been added here now we need to go into the bootloader mode so first of all to go into bootloader you need to turn off your phone wait for it until it vibrates okay now my phone is completely off and now all I need is to hold on the volume keys and here we are in the bootloader section in the download mode now let's press the power key and now my phone is in downloading mode let's get back to the computer alright then here we are back on the PC screen now all we need to do is to touch this BL and then navigate to the OS that we just extracted now let's open the BL file here okay the VL file is fully loaded now need to press the AP file this is gonna take some time because AP file is kind of the largest one of them okay now no need to worry we just need to wait for it to fully load this is gonna this is taking a long while right here I don't know what's happening I'm sure it's gonna be fine this happens sometimes come on load up now come on don't make me wait that much and that is taking long let's just wait for it okay the ap file is fully loaded now now let's go to the cp file here we have the cp file and here we have the csc file let's open that one up we do not need to use the home csc file so make sure to be careful on this one do it on your own risk okay everything is all set up let's check our options there is nothing we need to change nope that's not what we're gonna do anything to that okay now let's just start it they wait for it to finish the flashing process it's gonna take a little while so let's just watch and see Well, I speed up the process and now we can see the pass sign dialog here. Now we need to get back to the phone and see what happens there. Okay, here we can see there is a progress bar right at the end of it. Now all you need to do is to press all those buttons and the phone will just restart. Let's press all these three buttons simultaneously and the phone is now restart it so easy right let's wait for it to finish the loading this is gonna take some time at first because the software is just freshly installed let's wait and see what happens
Well, this is seriously taking so much time. Okay, now my phone is, I think, started. Okay, it is now started. Now, this is the first setup process. We need to go through this one more time. It is just like the time when we first bought the phone. Okay, let's just, let's go. Agree to all of it, if you want. The first two are necessary, but the others are just optional. Okay, I have agreed here. Let's wait for it. Nah, I'm not gonna use the Wi-Fi this time. I'm gonna skip this process. This is gonna take so time to, you know, work. Okay, well, I skipped the setup process because it was taking so much time. Now let's get to the settings. And let me show you how this freshly new software is working. Yep that is working now let's get to the settings here we go let's go to about phone here you can see we have the latest and greatest software installed for this phone which is android 10 there is no much support left for this phone so i'm gonna have to change it anyway that's been it thanks for watching i will catch you in the next one take care this is how it